Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Thursday, 14 March. Some negative news overnight from China. We are um, seeing Aussie come off the highs there. We traded up to basically 71 the figure. And now we're at 70.59. If you're short Aussie as we are, uh, you can probably add through 70.50 and then add again through 70 the figure. The calendar looks very, very light today, uh, and we just have another Brexit vote this evening. Let's talk about Euro Yen. Uh, we had to cut this 126.05 last night. I have no idea why we're up here. Uh, dollar Yen took a, took a leap last night in Asia. Again, not sure why. We do have the BOJ uh, Friday, so there may be some insider selling of Yen. There's been a lot of whispers that uh, the BOJ is going to come out with something dovish. We uh, we don't have a dog in this fight, so we're not. We're just watching it for now. But it is a little bit startling uh, to see that bar in in, um, in dollar yen. As far as euro, um, we've thrown in the towel as well in our shorts. Yeah, I mean, arguably, you need to be core short. This trend line here is really the sort of bull bear line, but we don't want to risk. Our, our average wasn't good enough to allow us to risk any moves higher here, so we just cut it at a small loss, and we're going to take a fresh look at this. Stocks, we got our print above 28.20, uh, so those stops were done. We still have these structures on for downside. Luckily, they've been paid for now with some delta trading, uh, and now we're just looking for left-hand side setups and it could be through 2814 today we'll have to check the news flow and the price uh, and see how things look but now we're just sitting with these structures they've been paid for now uh, and we just kind of have to hope for the best um, but as far as selling actual futures contracts prices below 2813 with the right headline uh, looks like a decent place to try a short what else is out there? Not a whole lot. Uh, crude, importantly, did eventually break 58 bucks, and now we're at 58.40. This is sort of a harbinger of, of a lot of things, um, mainly risk. So while crude is above 58 bucks, you want to be a little bit tentative selling equities or being risk off because this is risk on. Um, this is a very important break. There's a lot of clear air up here. So we're not trading crude, but we're just watching it closely to sort of give us a handle on on the big picture of things. So if you're going to go risk off, you really want uh, crude back below 58 bucks. And so we're just, we'll be watching that level quite closely today just to give us a little bit of a hand to see if we want to sell S&Ps. Um, or maybe buy some dollar CAD, which got a little bit stretched yesterday, down to 132.86. Um, so basically, tactically, we just have the Aussie on. Um, we have some inflation data out of Europe. Usually not much vol around these numbers. Um, we're looking for a rather quiet day. I don't even want to talk about cable. We did make a new range high last night. Now we're 130 points lower. We got some more votes tonight. Fully don't understand uh, Brexit. What's going on? Looks like a massive clusterfuck still to me. Um, just avoiding cable. Uh, but if you are trading it, good luck. And uh, hopefully it's it's been profitable. So... Not a whole lot to sink our teeth into today. It's been a slow week. Uh, we're just focused on this Aussie now, uh, trading at core short. And we'll be looking for other setups out there. Uh, but the charts aren't, aren't lending much at the moment. So with that, I wish you good luck and much profits today. I will speak to you tomorrow. Ciao.